time. I think it is. <laughs> uh, grab your popcorn, boys. This is about to be a good one. <laughs> we are going in to the, you got to say at least top four, maybe top two in the East. FC Cincinnati by our resident FC Cincinnati hype train driver, Adam Tamburello. Adam, give me the rundown, man. Tell me who's great. Tell me who needs to be better. Um, tell me why FCC is going to be the greatest team in the league this year. So I'll agree with one thing that you said, and that is that they will finish at least guaranteed second in Ohio. Um, <laughs> so, you know, there's that. That's a good one. I like that. Um, yep, Stom comes in year two. I mean, they finished 14th in the East, 26th overall. They finished with like six wins this year. So improvement, sort of. I mean, the record last year was actually 14, 5, and 14. So they, they already hit double digit wins. What? Kidding. I want to see if you were paying attention. I'm, I'm very confused. Your notes are silly. Your notes are silly. Got me. Um, yeah, they're they're bad. But they went out and said, hey, we might have been bad, but like we're going to spend a gajillion dollars and bring in Brenner and Lucho Acosta because why the hell not? Like, I don't know. If I was a young kid in Brazil, my dream would be to play for FC Cincinnati. I can tell you that. He grew up with some uh, some Kubo posters on his wall, and now he's playing right alongside him. Who's this Kubo guy? We all know the only person who's on his wall is Brandon Vasquez. I did too. Andrew Gutman was on his wall. He had little Andrew Gutman figurines when he was growing up. Um, they actually tweeted. I don't know if you guys saw, but Brenner tweeted a picture of when he was young, and he had an Andrew Gutman jersey on. So it was magical. Um, dream move, baby, dream move. You know, too bad he's not there anymore to play alongside. That's right. Bring him to Red Bull. We could <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they'll most likely play the four-two-three-one. They have been playing. Um, Cody Cropper in goal, Zico Bailey uh, right back, Vanderwerf in the middle next to Peterson. Moderita comes in at left back, went from New York City to FCC. I don't know if that's a step up, down, sideways. That's just kind of like a you change teams, congrats kind of thing. Um, the two center holding mids in Madunin and Makojo, I feel like should be better than they are. Granted, Connor, what are what are both of them? They're the the what? The wrong side of what now? Uh, Makojo is third. Let's be real. Uh, you get dirty, well, man, you're on the wrong side of it. I think you're on top of it. Okay. <laughs> you're right on that line. Yeah. Um, Kubo on the left. Lucho Acosta, no. Andrew, Frankie Amaya is not getting anywhere near this team. How? How are you telling me Frankie Amaya doesn't get in this team? Frankie Amaya doesn't want to play for this team. It's very simple. I, I, will, I will almost put money on it. Oh, I'm not yeah. saying he won't play. I'm just saying he won't play as much as he should because he basically told FCC, like, let me leave. You know what I'm leave. saying? I'm saying Frankie Amaya drops into a 6-8 a, a, a spot. He's going to take Madunian in spot and play as a, a holding ball, ball playing, ball winning mid. It's going to be the worst decision Yopsan ever makes, but he's too good not to put in that team. I mean, yeah, I would agree. But if a player basically says, let me leave, you guys say no. And then he's stuck now under contract going, well, I don't really want to be here. Like, there's no reason for him to play. Um, and then Brenner up top. Lacadia is not playing. Andrew, stop putting him in my notes. You can't sign Jurgen Lacadia for that much money and not play him. <laughs> I mean, you can because you brought Brenner in for more money. No, no, fair, but you have to find a way. You don't have to find a way. Are we are we at a point where FCC has so many decent <laughs> players we don't know who they're gonna start? <laughs> what does the world come to? I mean, I guess, but like again, they're still gonna win ten games this year minimum. 
Oh, or maximum, you, sorry, maximum. You, no more than ten. How do you? you uh, how do you make this team work? You know, again, this is a team that's probably going to look to win games by four. Their back line is so thin, but they got Matarita and Bailey are going to go streaking up the wins, wings, knock everybody in, just dump balls in all day. Oh, man. This team's going to be fun. Maybe for the wrong reasons, but they're going to be fun. <laughs> That's the thing is there was one of those teams that, like, could easily just implode or – if their back line like figures out how to defend, maybe they string a few wins together and like start the season super hot. Um, I mean, yeah, their attacking talent is a lot better than it's been, depending on if they get the chemistry right. Um, obviously, bringing in Acosta and Brenner will take time for them to settle in with everyone. Um, I feel like Lucho Acosta is going to be like, oh, I remember this league. I came in, I dominated for a little, like almost went to PSG, didn't yeah. go to PSG, went to Mexico, <laughs> but like was on the DC team with Wayne Rooney and was like, oh, this this league's easy. I just plan, I just you know, I have some decent guys around me. This is going to be great. And then gets the FCC and is like, oh, the last time he played in this league, he played against an Orlando side that. Got terrible. that that missed an open net yep. because they got tackled by a 36 year old Wayne Rooney sprinting half the field, <laughs> hit a 50 yard cross field ball and let a five four center attacking mid win a header over their six foot three center backs and their six foot four goalkeeper and he dinked the goalkeeper with the header. <clears throat> he has no idea what he's coming into. <laughs> he's mean... gonna walk into Orlando and look at Nani and Pop and be like, "What happened here?" I go away for two years and this is what happens. <laughs> it would not surprise me in the slightest if this team rattles off like five wins in a row. Yeah. Not even a little bit. And then goes on like a 14 game losing streak. Not even like, yeah. If I would literally sit there and just watch me like five in a row. Nice. First loss. I just go, here we go. 14 in a row. So it wouldn't be an episode if I didn't bring this back to fantasy somehow. FCC is going to be one of those teams where you pick like sneaky differentials every week. If you want to be different, it's like, Oh, they have a not horrible matchup. Let me throw like Kubo in there or yeah. Byron Allen in there, depending on what their prices look like. If they, yeah. you know, like say they, they win five in a row, they're all going to skyrocket. Then you got to buy them when they go down and see if they can pick up a, a, a cheap yeah. goal here or there. Uh, but that is, that's stonks. 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 FCC's not going to the moon, though. FCC straight to the moon. Yeah. FCC to Mars, baby. FGR's going to the moon. Can't have two FGR, teams. Anymore. FGR straight to the moon. Absolutely. <laughs> they tied 0-0 today, unfortunately. We need an FGR podcast. Oh, God. <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> we don't, we, you think we don't know anything about MLS? We do. <laughs> that League 2 podcast life. <laughs> <laughs> um. I am interested to see what Makocho brings uh, coming as a, a holding mid from a Brentford side last year that nearly got promoted. Um, and I know he played a little bit last year. I didn't get to see enough of him. Interested to see what he does with a full year. I think he plays next to Amaya, not Madunian in. Because if he plays next to Amaya, He'll have at least he'll at least allow him to go forward a little bit. Madunian, it, w- it would literally be sitting six people behind the ball because I don't think either of them would go forward. Um, and then you're hoping that the the four combination of whoever you put up there uh, can get the job done, which they probably can realistically. But oh man, there's a lot of really good in this team. Yeah. However, only on, only on the attacking side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we did be, talk. We did say the same thing last year. Speaking of of Brentford players, remember when Red Bull almost signed even Tony and then didn't, and now he's got like thirty goals in the championship. He wasn't on Brentford. He was on Peterborough. Want to check again? Yeah, he's on Brentford now, and he's banging goals in. No, when we when we wanted to sign him, okay. he was on. Uh, he was on. He was on Peterborough. He lit up League One, then signed for Brentford. Lit up League. Lit up, lit up the championship. 
Um, cause he, he wanted to stay in England cause I think Brentford were going for him, man. He would have been great. Just didn't want to play next to Brian White. I mean, imagine him coming off the bench for Brian White. <laughs> would have been such a good team. God. <laughs> oh man. So tell me, tell me about this FCC team who needs to have a really good standout year. Uh, I mean, obviously, the big one is Brenner. You don't come in with that money and then, like, crap the bed year one. That would be a very bad look, considering, like you said before, FCC brought in, like, four of the most expensive transfers in league history. I don't want to make this another one, especially that doesn't work out. Um, Especially, How bad would that be, signing Lacadia and Brenner and both of them flopping? I think it wouldn't be as bad if this was a team that had history. Something else. Yeah. So like you could the, you could look back and be like, oh, we had periods where like we had good strikers, or we had you know, yeah, there were some dips, but we had this player that was really good. Like they're three seasons in and they're horrible. So if he comes in and is horrible again, like FCC fans, like just look out for them. Yeah, um, I almost – this is awful to say, but I almost kind of want to see it. I, what I don't want to see is FCC become the New Orlando, where they just go bye, bye, bye and miss the playoffs every year because of a coaching issue or this or that. I just want to see them be successful. Yeah. Um, the other one would be Lucho Acosta. So, like I said before, everyone remembers him and how good he was at D.C., but – a doesn't have the same support. B is however many years older. And C is on FC Cincinnati. So like who knows if he still wants it. Um and then the other one is Makocho. So if that back line's gonna have any chance of doing anything, the guys in front of them are gonna have to do something. <laughs> 